Ooh, it stinks. Oh my goodness. Look what I came downstairs to. It's just beautiful. The sun is shining through the windows. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. It's just gleaming off of everything. We're going to have a good day. Hey guys, it's Saturday morning about 10 o'clock and we are preparing for the singles get together at our house today. Maggie is soaking the fish. This is the Cajun way of frying fish. We soak it in mustard. Oh, please don't get that on your new school shirt. It will stain. Uh, wash your hands and put an apron on because mustard stains, folks. And this is a new cute shirt from our back to school haul. Ellie is obsessed with the headphones this morning and she's playing with the iPad. I'm going to eat the fish. You're not going to eat the fish. You're going to try it. It's yummy. Dad's an awesome fish fryer. No, lob, you got sick from crab, not lo not fish. Ellie ate too much crab meat on vacation and got sick, so now she's kind of nervous about seafood. Maggie's putting on an apron. Drama queen, how fitting. And what's Dad doing over here? I wanted him to tell me. Ellie. Cutting up like fish up in nuggets and trying to get the... Like the yucky seafood. part out. Trying to get some of this red off of the sauce. Like not so fishy. I don't like oh. I think girl. that piece is going in the trash. What about you? I don't it goes in the fryer seafood. and on the floor, girl. What's wrong with you? Mom, I don't like seafood. You do like seafood. You're just... Crab made you sick because you ate too much. Crab is rich. Look at this table. These kids had breakfast this I morning and made a big am. mess. I'll clean up my mess. I am. Okay, mom's going to do some I more tidying up that. and getting things I ready. I Mate, shake that fish, girl. Shake it. Get it battered. I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen one of these things. Bought it at Bass Pro Shop and it is a lifesaver for battering. Look at this yummy fish that's battered, ready to be fried in these pans of yucky mustard. <laughs> and the big kid who is being a big help today. Normally I'm not that big of a help. Uh, I didn't I'm say just, that. Well, normally I'm in the kitchen and I'm bothering y'all. So y'all Getting in the get way. I'm in the kitchen! <laughs> so what you see her doing is taking the fish that's already been battered and has had time for the batter to kind of soak into the mustard and she's rebattering it one more time to make it extra crispy. We are like the Mac Daddy fish fryers at this house. Well, not we, Jason. <laughs> and he's teaching Maggie so she can learn how to do it. And this is going to be delicious apple cinnamon cobber, cobbler slash dump cake in a little while. Yummy, yummy, yummy. We're having loads of fun. Loads. Speaking of loads, I'm unloading the dishwasher. And now it's time to do a little cleanup. I try to do this a little bit as we go makes it easier. We're having problems with our fish fry. Something's going on with the grease that keeps catching on fire. Ooh, it stinks. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. <coughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that grease is not usable. Here comes Mickey. Please. Maggie, go look in the bottom. Uh, the, under the stove. Okay, I'll. Well, you got a hole right there. Oh. And she's YouTubing right now. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Woo! How big is that? It doesn't. It doesn't ignite immediately. It takes a few minutes to ignite. Oh, dude. Oh, yai.
so update we are heating some oil in a pot because the fire uh, or the big burner in the pot are going to take a while to cool off they're having to try to do some measures to make the area more safe so we're starting to heat up some grease i don't think it's going to be enough he used all of the oil in the other pot and so we're using some oil we had left over and hopefully because if we burn this grease guess what we're on our pizza folks and we'll do fish another day so i should start by explaining i have a wall in my office where i have like little scriptures and reminders uh, like lists of goals and things like inspirational quotes and um so maggie came in here and said that she's gonna be like me probably because she's starting to do the same thing for her own bedroom okay so i have this one and it says seek you first the kingdom of god that he's 633 that's the right scripture reference it is okay and then i have this one so this is psalms 23 1 through 6 I wrote this out without looking at the scripture because I have this one memorized because they burnt it into my brain while I went to, when I went to the church school. We had to learn this and it took me forever to learn this so now it's like burnt into my brain. Don't you think that's valuable knowledge? Yeah, it is though because it's a really good scripture and like when you dig deeper into it and you get to under, like you understand it somewhat, which I've done that, it's a really good scripture. And then I have... This one, it says God's got it under control. And then I have this one. This one says, don't worry about, don't always worry about tomorrow, live in today. And this one says, be strong and, this one says, be strong and courageous for the Lord our God will be with you wherever you go, Joshua 1.9. This one says, you can't really read it, but it says, no matter how your day is going, don't forget to smile. That's it. Awesome. And I came up with those quotes in my own. Awesome. Maggie says she came up with those quotes on her own and she did not get them off of the interwebs. <laughs> Train them up. Today was a good day. It started out a little rough. Like they had a major mishap. Caught the grease on fire, ruined Christmas pot. Uh, ended up having to call in back up. And yeah, I guess it could have gone much worse. It, we, it seemed like we were having one of those days where everything that could go wrong would, and especially we had actually done much preparation to try to make sure everything would go smoothly. I think the grease just got too hot. Yes, the grease just got too hot. It, 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 would, it would hit oxygen. It would actually catch fire. If I wasn't there to catch it, it could have been really, really bad. Yeah, but. It was only like, what, three or four feet from my vehicle? Yes. So it, it could have been bad, it could have made a big mess, but all in all, it, it turned out to be a pretty good day. Yeah, the food all turned out great. Jason did an awesome job frying the fish on the stove after all of that. Uh, thankfully, we he ran out real quick and got more grease because we had used all of the oil in that big pot. Uh, he went and got more oil, and we had like a big Le Creuset. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Um, like a roaster pot and he fried everything in that and then a friend brought by a dutch oven pot and he used that as well on the stove so we managed and just um, side note the dutch oven old cast iron pot did much better that was the ticket that was the ticket it did a lot he just doesn't like my fancy pot i like the old dutch oven pot that was <laughs> right just right um we only had two singles show up today others that had rsvp'd some had an uh, unforeseen circumstance that they couldn't control, and, and that's totally understandable. Others, I, I really don't know what happened, and I'm not saying that to shed a negative light on any of what happened. I'm saying it because the two that showed up um, were saying that they were sorry that more didn't show up, considering that we had prepared, spent the time preparing food and drinks and desserts and things. Um, but I honestly can say I did not feel... Uh, I mean, there's always that feeling of, well, you wish that everyone would show up just because you're doing it for them. But I didn't feel sad um, no, because no. I was just genuinely happy with the girls that did show up. And we had a very good time visiting, good time of fellowship. The dessert, I made it and I'm going to toot my own horn. I don't, I well, I was saying that That's I don't awesome. normally do sugar, but lately I've been doing a little more of it. Um, 
I ate way more dessert than I should eat. And I'm going to have to pay for it all week long, probably. Apple dump cake was the bomb. Oh, so good. Um, but the food was excellent. The, the fellowship was even better. Yes. And just thankful for a really good day. The kids have been all pretty good today. We've had a fun day. Um, just kind of sorry that we didn't vlog more. I think once everyone left, we kind of got caught up with cleanup and taking care of things that had not been done. And then Saturday evenings are typically pretty busy for us um, because we are preparing for church the next day. And we have day. hot water now. We're like, and the plumber came and baths. replaced our hot water heater. Thank we're, we're high the, tech people. Thank the Lord Clean and Manuel people. for the new hot water heater um we were clean before we were just cold, yeah, and, cold clean. and clean it was miserable so very very grateful for hot water uh can't say how happy i am about that so i think all in all it's been a good day it's been a real good day yes you have any other thoughts before we wrap this up no okay well hopefully you all had a great weekend and we will see you again on monday TTYL. I have to work Monday. We're gonna vlog Monday. No. Yeah. Wait. What do you mean wait? He huh? doesn't have to work Monday. It sounded like you said you had to work. No, no. He's off work, guys, yes, and the kids amazing. are out of school. Yes. I'm so happy. Got trouble we're gonna get into. Whatever it is, we'll make sure and share. Okay. Although Monday, the vlog that gets posted won't be what we're doing on Monday. It's a week behind. It'll be okay. It's not exactly a week behind. We only. Post Monday through Saturday. He's a little confused about the vlog. I'm not up to, not up to speed on the vlog. Uh, it's kind of like your hashtag velocity, deal. the hashtag whatever. So that's okay. Y'all have a good He's night, Mr. Tech. I just try to smile and help when I can. <laughs> that's all right. Uh, well, we will all we will. Blah, blah, blah. Hope you all blah, blah, blah. have a wonderful holiday weekend, and blah, we blah, will blah. see you again on Monday. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Bye. He's a brat. <laughs>